Estonia is a magically beautiful small country in Northern Europe located on the Baltic Sea. More than half of its land area is covered with forests. Nearly a quarter is covered with swamps and bogs. There are thousands of lakes and rivers in Estonia. North Estonian Klint is a part of the Baltic Klint extending 1,600 kilometers from the island of Öland in Sweden to Lake Ladoga in Russia. It is a precipice of erosional escarpments in lower Paleozoic sedimentary rocks that reveals hundreds of millions of years of Earth's history. The oldest Estonian clays date back to the Idiocaran period. The youngest clays originate from the glacial lakes of the last glacial period that date back to the Quaternary period. Most of Ice Age formed terrain can be seen in southern Estonia, evidenced by its rolling hills. In many places, you can see the reddish Devon sandstone cliffs. Estonian villages are mostly dispersely populated. A typical Estonian peasant household would have three to six standalone buildings, often more. The main building material in Estonia, in addition to natural stone, has been timber for already thousands of years. Besides natural stone, burnt clay bricks have also been widespread. Often, different building materials were used in a single farmstead, as well as a single structure. Earth buildings are found all over Estonia, yet southern Estonia is home to the largest concentration of them. The buildings have been erected for different purposes. There are manor houses and residential buildings. But different outbuildings, stables, barns, granaries, smithies, mills and even saunas dominate the scene. Building techniques were also different. Among the remaining structures one can find rammed earth, adobe and cop technique based structures common in Western Europe, but primarily a technique characteristic to local areas. The old publications on earth construction described the clay was often dug out from the ground in the fall and left to stand for the winter so it would freeze solid. This made it easier to knead the clay in the spring. Clay was mixed with dry chopped straws, heather, flax, and fir or juniper twigs into a smooth mixture on the ground or a base made of boards. Horses were used for kneading. Depending on technique, the walls were built by gentler or harder ramming, without or lifted formwork, and later more frequently with a full formwork. Juniper or fir twigs were laid crosswise to the wall. The corners were reinforced by means of sturdy branches. Holes were densely pierced in earth walls that were still moist. Chips of stone or wooden sticks were pressed therein. The ends of any twigs put in the earth walls were cleaned and made visible so that lime plaster would adhere better to the earth walls. Clay plaster was also used to plaster the log houses from inside. Branches, wooden or later also reed mats were used so plaster would adhere better to the log walls. This, likely the oldest remaining Estonian clay structure, originates from the 17th century. The rest can be divided between four major building periods. The first lasted from 1850 to 1870. During this period, Cow sheds were mainly built without a foundation. Approximately 60 centimeter thick earth walls were built without any formwork using puddled clay. The second lasted from 1870 to 1900. During this period, people began to construct earth buildings on fieldstone foundations because they could see that earth walls that came in contact with the ground were prone to crumble when exposed to manure from within the building and water from the outside of it. 
liftable formwork came into use in the construction of walls. The edges of doors and windows were always supported by wood. In other respects, the designs were predominantly similar to those of the previous construction period. The third period lasted from 1906 to 1914. During this period, full formworks covering entire walls were also taken into use because boards became widespread. In 1873, the cement factory in Kunda started operating and by the time of the third construction period, cement had made its way into the structures of earth buildings. For example, concrete was used to reinforce the edges of doors and windows in clay buildings. In addition to outbuildings, residential buildings were also constructed. The fourth period lasted from 1920 to 1930. During this period, people began to construct earth buildings in towns as well. At the same time, books that taught people how to build earth buildings were published in Estonian. By this time, cheap price was no longer the only argument for erecting earth buildings. The government, too, began to popularize the construction of earth buildings. Construction workers were provided advisory services free of charge, better terms were offered for earth building construction loans, models of earth houses were introduced, and photos of completed buildings were shown at agricultural exhibitions held in bigger towns. Good indoor climate also became important because it was observed that cow sheds and stables built of earth were superior because of the warm, dry, and clean indoor air. The then head of state and later first president of the Republic of Estonia, Konstantin Betz, definitely set an example as well. He erected two big earth buildings on his grand farmstead in northern Estonia. During the Soviet occupation, all of private peasants' land and property was taken for the then-established collective farms. Clay structures were rebuilt and repaired with whatever materials were found handy. Rarely new clay barn structures were erected, but mostly clay as building material disappeared. As a result of urbanization, many farms have been left derelict after Estonia's re-independence. However, in the last decade, moving back to the countryside has again become more popular, but when a farm is purchased, the residential building is restored first. Thus, there might not be enough funds left for the outbuildings, or the latter are simply not needed. Instructions for repairing and maintaining those buildings don't exist, and often repairs are made using inappropriate materials. Rainwater and groundwater are the main factors that damage earth buildings in Estonia. The problems with remaining earth buildings are related to their foundations and roofs. The foundations are often not deep and there are cracks in the walls due to frost heaves or an uneven sinking of the foundation. Rainwater has damaged the walls owing to short eaves or broken roofs. The earth walls of buildings whose roofs have collapsed are destroyed rapidly when exposed to the weather. At the end of 1990s, sustainable buildings started to become more relevant again, and several local natural construction materials, including earth, were rediscovered. Clay plaster became increasingly more popular, and it is used as part of the interior finishing of both farmhouses, as well as new buildings and apartments. Since the mid-2000s, there has been a revival of straw bale construction and clay plaster is predominantly used to plaster straw bale buildings. Light clay was introduced as a new technique of earth construction. Savio Kumaya, a company established in 2006, has renovated a myriad of earth buildings in southern Estonia. Advised the owners of these buildings, has taken part in the construction of new earth buildings, and regularly organized training sessions. The company is also engaged with the development and production of various raw earth construction materials.
However, considering the number of earth buildings in Estonia, one private enterprise cannot change the big picture. In 2016, a non-profit organization was formed called Eesti Maaehitus, Estonian Earth Building. Its primary objectives are to protect and revitalize Estonian unique earth building heritage, offer broad educational services, promote and initiate cooperation between various natural building enterprises and organizations, and advance the whole field. With funding assistance from European Union, this old manor stable will be renovated. And in 2018, here will open a competence, training and product development center for traditional and natural building. We invite architects and engineers to develop solutions for modernizing old earth buildings and purpose them for residential use in Estonia and other countries with similar problems. We invite subject matter experts, self-builders, students and volunteers to launch an international project to research and study Estonian earth building heritage, find ways for its protection and revitalization, develop renovation and maintenance guidelines for owners of earth buildings, and complete necessary preparations so that in 2018 we together can celebrate Estonia's 100th Independence Day by building a traditional method earth building here at the Estonian Open Air Museum. <laughs>